Hey guys, it's such a great day here at San Diego Market Movers question of the week because I have a great friend Matt DeWitt joining me and we're going to talk about something that is inevitable that maybe some of us don't love and some of us love. So mm. how's it going my friend? Well, it's always fun. It's going great. I mean, it's always fun to talk about those things that some of us love and some of us don't love. I know. Yes. So we've got, you know, the issue of the housing shortage and Obviously, we live in San Diego. There's a lot of us that feel sure. the same way, and a lot of people want to move into San Diego, which means we don't have enough homes for everybody that wants to live here. So here we are at this crisis. San Diego is thinking now of zoning, you know, for this shortage, right? This housing density issue. Do you think they should be allowing the changes for this to happen? Oh, such a tricky question. Um, it's, it's broad. For starters, it's not as uh, you know. It, it's easy to say, you know, let's just go start changing zoning, but there's so much to San Diego. Are we talking downtown? Are we talking East County? We, there's there's layers to it. But overall, I just don't think we need to be doing this. I think it comes out of if we look at what the last two three years have been, we clearly have had a shortage of housing. Mm -hmm. But that's correcting itself. That was a lot of COVID. That was a lot of, you know, people buckling down, working at home, you know, not wanting to sell, not wanting to transition. That's true. Needing larger living spaces, too, because they were living at home, right. homeschooling their children. Right. So that makes sense. Right. And so I don't know that um, I, I, it's always good to be talking about it. We're a growing community. San Diego has been found. I mean, those of us have been here a long time. We know what it was like when it when it wasn't and um, wasn't crowded and wasn't busy and, and people, oh, I'd love to come and visit San Diego, but uh, yeah. and they couldn't imagine living there. Now people live here and there's businesses and, and I know we need to grow and accommodate that, but we have grown a, a, a lot and... Um, quickly. Quickly. Yes. And housing doesn't address infrastructure. It doesn't address all the things that come with more people. Right. And we are dealing with that. And, and I think we have to be really honest about not simplifying the question and going, well, we should just change the zoning and build more, build more homes. Mm, our demand and supply shifts with markets. And these are, these are permanent changes to our community that we have to be really mindful. Are we looking at these things because of what the last few years have been like? Are we looking at these mm -hmm. things because it's just, you know, because we've changed as a city? Right. And I don't necessarily think changing the zoning is it is wrongful but maybe not in an already highly density area right. so you know some of these highly populated areas like carmel mountain for example is a big area that i shop mm -hmm. those parking lots are so full it's right. almost impossible to find a parking spot on right. any given hour of the day and now you're building all of these new condominiums that is going to house, I don't know how many, right. hundreds and hundreds of people. Right. So now you've got all these extra people that cross the street from these shopping areas that already don't have enough room for parking. Right. And how about the streets? They can't widen the streets. So I'm like, maybe put it out on the outskirts of San Diego, like right. where a lot of cities do. They're building on these like country, small towns that are now growing the city. And that allows for them to be out there. They've got a Absolutely. lot of room and land, but when you're already trying to now condense into something that we have no room for, right. it's really tricky. And it that's what tricky. they're doing. And that is what they're doing. Right? And that's, and that's, um, and, and that's such a high layer. I think that the parking issue has been really um, missed in some of these zoning changes we've already seen too. Yeah. Overlooked. It, overlooked. I think it's overlooked. I, I don't think they're thinking about uh, it. Uh, you know what? I think it was easy for people when Uber hit the streets. I remember there was an entire development that went downtown where they, you know, they, they structured the parking for an average of half a car per resident because they thought so many <laughs> residents would use, would use Uber. And I'm like, Okay, okay, we're okay yeah. in that. And, you know, and, and, and these things change. And right. I get where trends are, and I understand having to try to, you know, navigate how things have shifted and done, but um, parking's horrific. Yeah. Horrific. I know. And traffic. I'm learning all that it's just, as things are getting back to normal. Yeah. And, you know, all of these big companies are expecting people back in the, in the offices. This last month has been insane and this is just the beginning it's just the beginning so here we are so anyway anyway we'll have to see how it goes thanks for sitting in my hot seat today oh no i love it thanks. and i love that we banter back and forth and we are on the same page we so. should do this more we should uh, thank you so much thank buddy you. thanks for joining good. me you bet. it was